Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you and explain you how to add another socket outlet to the existing ring. But before I show you the wiring, I just want to quick explain you how the ring final circuits are connected. So the cable used in the ring final circuits is 2.5 twin inert and is protected by 32 amp MCB at the consumer unit. You can have unlimited number of sockets on the inner ring, but the area, the floor area, has not exceed 100 square meters. So that's my drawing of the ring circuit. So as you see, here are sockets. Here is the consumer unit. So the ring final circuit starts at the consumer unit. Then the cable fits. Uh, first socket, then split here to another socket, split here to another socket, and so on, up to the last socket, and from the last socket, it's also connected with the same cable to the consumer unit. <coughs> so this is the typical socket outlet in a ring. Behind, as you see, it's got two cables coming into the socket. It's got three wires, the socket outlet has got three terminals, the neutral, the live and the etin. The etin splits into two terminals basically but they connected together. So this, let's say, this is coming from consumer unit or another socket. So obviously all brown wires live are connected to live terminal. All neutral wires are connected to neutral terminals, air thin to air terminal. So cable comes from consumer unit, comes to the socket, and then splits here to another socket. So now let's say we want to add a spare socket to existing ring. There are two ways to add it. First, the easiest way is just to connect the, the new socket, which is going to be here for example. So you link it together with, with the same wire, 2.5 twin and earth. So how to do it? You just need to open the existing socket outlet, unscrew obviously all of the wires, and add the third cable to this socket. So that's how it should look. So this socket is on the ring. Now we've got three cables coming into the socket two from the previous and next socket and one from the spare socket which we added. So there is also another way of making a spare from the ring circuit. We can make a junction box in between two sockets on a ring. So the junction box has to be 30 amp with three terminals there. And I'll show you in a minute how to fix it. So that's the spare taken from the junction box fitted on the ring cable in between two socket outlets. So what I've done basically, between these two sockets I cutted the cable, fitted junction box and I connected another socket outlet which is our spare. This is 30 amp junction box. You see you've got three terminals. To one terminal I connected all three live brown cables from three sockets. In the middle I fit all three earthing wires from three sockets. And this is the neutral. I connected all three blue neutral wires into this one. Just when you make the junction box, when you connect all, all the wires, just tight it really good and also remember try to keep the insulation inside the junction box so then when you screw it back so no wires are coming out I showed you how to make a spare from the socket and how to make a spare from the junction box fitted on the ring cable 
So both of these options are called unfused spare. They are unfused spare. Um, and they are limited by the number of sockets but that you've got on the ring. So for example if you've got in this ring you've got eight sockets so the unfused spare you can have only eight. Let's say one from this socket, one from the junction box, then another one from this socket, then here from the junction box. So the number has to be eight. Unless you add another socket outlet straight on the ring. So then the, the ring has got nine socket outlets, so you can have nine unfused spares. One more very important thing if you make a spare from the socket or from the junction box you can't have another one just behind this one. This is wrong, this is against the regulations. You can have just one one spare from one socket or one spare one unfused spare from the socket or one unfused spare from the junction box. Unless you're gonna use FCU, fused connection unit. But this I'm gonna show you in the next video. So if you like my videos, please share, subscribe and like for more videos. Thanks a lot.